hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm here with part two of how to construct an entertainment unit i did this in part one i constructed this whole unit so if you have not watched that video you can check it out on my channel so today i'm here with the finishing of the unit so i'll be adding a high gloss locker inside of the unit and then i'll use a wood stain on the doors then i'll add a nice finish resin on top but i'll just use this black paint as the base so guys let's just get right to the video now I'm painting a black quick dry industrial enamel paint on top of the unit. I'm using it as a base color for the resin. Now I'm mixing epoxy at a one-to-one -one ratio. As you can see, I poured the hardener first, then the resin after. At this point, I'm not sure of the amount I'll use for the entire project, so I'm just mixing small amount in different portions. I'm pouring some of my epoxy mix in different containers to tint the mixture. I'll be using gold, black and pearl white. Now I'm pouring the black epoxy resin on top of the unit. As mentioned before, the black paint was used as my undercoat. I'm using an 8 inch trowel to spread the epoxy. The black looks beautiful as is but I'll pour the gold on top to give it some character. I'm using a heat gun to remove the air bubbles and level out the epoxy. Now 
I'm now pouring the pearl white to add some more character. Honestly, I'm just playing around with it until I get the desired look. This epoxy has a long work time, so I have plenty of time to work with. And if I do something that I don't like, I'll just cover it up with the black epoxy and level it out with the heat gun. I'm a bit disappointed with the color of the pearl white. After the epoxy starts to set, the color looks silvery instead of white. And I was not going for the silvery look because the wall is gray and I want that old contrast with the pearl white. Anyway, the show must go on. So I'm just going to continue because I'm working with epoxy. So after it is dried and if I don't like the look, I'm going to give it another coat and add a proper brand of pearl white. I'm now removing the tape from the edges after two hours. If I leave the tape on it to be completely dried, I won't be able to remove it after. So that is the reason why I'm removing it from now. So you know, about two or three hours after the epoxy has been set, you can remove that tape. Now I'll just leave it for a week to be fully cured. And in the meantime, I'll just work on the doors and the shelves. I'm using Varathane wood stain in the color Weathered Grey to stain the doors and the shelves. I'm adding some black to define the edges. It's been a week and the entertainment unit top has been fully cured. So now I'm doing the assembly. After attaching all the hardware, I'm just going to use some mud podge to add some goalies to the doors to brighten up the unit and give it some life. So I'm just basically sticking the goalies where I add the glow. So I'll just use a squeegee to burnish the leaf into the wood. To make this unit more interesting, I'm installing a wireless charger underneath to create a wireless charging station on top. The project is finished now guys, so here is the final look. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. As you can see guys, my charging station is working great. Thank you so much for watching and bye, I'll see you in the next one.